Hi, this is Mrs. Lamberg here, and we are on um, adding whole numbers, lesson four, session three. Students, you need to get your math book and turn to page 59 in your math book, and you are going to write in your math book and follow along, and if I write it, you write it. All right. I also have my card here about how we solve word problems. Find the sum of 57,541 and 23,098. Use the standard algorithm for addition, then estimate to check whether your answer is reasonable or makes sense. So this is not even a word problem. This is simply directions, but I can still kind of use this um, card of how to solve word problems to help me. So first it says, um, what is it about? We are finding the sum of these two numbers. What information is important? Well, this number right here is important because it's one of the numbers. This is important, the word sum, because the word sum tells me that I'm going to be adding this right here is also very important. This is called standard algorithm. Standard algorithm means just the traditional way of lining your numbers up and adding them together. This down here is also important. Estimate and check whether your answer is reasonable. So we're actually going to do two problems here. The first one we're doing is we're solving it just the traditional way. And the second thing we're doing is we're estimating, or it's kind of similar to rounding, but it's not exactly rounding, to see if our numbers are about the same. Okay, so first I'm going to do the standard algorithm to add. Make sure that you give yourself um, plenty of room, so that way you can tell which number would be in which place on a place value chart. Then you want to check and make sure that you have a number in the ones column for both numbers. And now we can add them together. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My 1 goes down here and I regroup my 1 up there. 0 plus 5 is 5 plus 1 more is 6. 7 plus 3 is 10, so my zero goes down here and I regroup a one. Two plus five is seven, plus one more is eight. So this is the answer that I got with the standard algorithm. Now I'm going to estimate to see if my answer is reasonable. If I look at the number 57,541 and I'm going to estimate that number, I first need to pick a number where I feel like would be a good place to estimate to. A lot of times this is going to be the thousands or the hundreds place. So first I'm going to show you how to do this with an estimate to the thousands. So if I estimate to the thousands is five going to tell the 7 to go up or stay the same? Well, it's going to tell it to go up. So this estimate would be 58,000. Okay, 3. Is the 0 going to stay go up or go, stay the same? Well, it's going to say stay the same. So 23,000. Now I just add those together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8, 9, 10, 11, carry my 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is 81,000 close to 80,639? Yeah, those are pretty close. Now let's estimate this to the hundreds place. So if I round, if I take 57,000, the 4 says say the same, so it would be 57,500 plus... Oh, this zero, the nine tells it to go to a one. So 23,100. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. 
5 plus 1 is 6. 7 plus 3 is 10. Regroup my 1. 5, 6, 7, 8. 80,600. This is even closer to this. And this is estimate to the hundreds. So when you're estimating, it's you kind of regroup, you kind of um, round the numbers that you're going to go to, but you want to make sure that whatever number you go to for the top number, you also use that number for the same um, place value for the bottom number. So when I estimated these two, I estimated both of them to the thousands. When I estimated it here, I estimated both of them to the hundreds. And I can see that both of these numbers are pretty close. The closer you get to the ones place, the closer the number is going to get to the correct number. The farther you away from you get to the, from the ones place, the um, bigger gap there's going to be between the number. But I can tell from these that yes, my answer is reasonable. Okay, turn to page 60. On page 60, it's giving us the same problem. Um, it is just showing us the standard algorithm, algorithm for adding. And then it's showing us rounding. So here they rounded to the nearest thousand and they got 58,000, which is what we got. And then they rounded to the nearest thousand and got 23,000, which, which is what we got. And when they added them, it was 81,000. Okay. Now, if we go to page 61, here at the top of 61, it wants us to finish solving the problem. So this is just the same problem that we had on the other page. We just have it in a different format. So 5 plus 1 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 3 is 10. I regroup my 1. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 2 more is 8. Why do you need to regroup a second time? Because we already regrouped here, so why did we have to regroup here? Well, because when we added them together, it was more, it was 10 or more. And when you add two numbers together and it's 10 or more, you have to regroup to the next place value column. You don't have to write that. I just want you to understand that when you add two numbers, two or more numbers, if it's 10 or more, you have to regroup to the next place value column. Okay, look at the second model it. That would be back over on page 60. Is the estimate of 81,000 close to the sum you wrote in problem one? Yes, it is. Is your answer reasonable? Yes, it is. Okay. In the second model it, each number is rounded to the nearest thousand. Could you estimate in different ways? What did we do on the first page? On the first page, we estimated in thousands and we also did hundreds, right? So what is our answer here? For example, what are the benefits and drawbacks of rounding to the nearest 10 instead of the nearest thousand? So yes, you can round to different numbers and the closer, closer to one's place, more accurate. It's going to be closer to the real number. Further means less accurate. You do not have to do number five. So now you're going to turn to page 62. Okay. Page 62, number six. Xavier is playing a video game. His score is 21,405 points in the first level and 17,865 points in the second level. What is Xavier's total score for both levels? Estimate to check that your answer is reasonable. Show your work. Okay, this is a word problem, so I definitely need my card to help me solve this. What is this problem about? Well, it's about Xavier playing some video games. What information is important? Well, his score here was 21,405 points in the first level, and then in the second level, it was 17,865 points. 
what is what is his total score that's important because that tells us we're going to add total score means add for both levels estimate to check that your answer is reasonable and show your work wow that one has a lot of important um, words in it what am I trying to find out I'm trying to find out what is Xavier's total score for both levels and is my answer level reasonable that's what I'm trying to find out can I draw a model well now our model has became the standard algorithm so you're gonna write both of those numbers 21,405 make sure you're lining them up correctly that's the biggest mistake students make when they're adding okay my numbers are lined up good 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 plus 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, regroup my 1, 7, 8, 9, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So 39,270 points. Now it says to estimate. So I'm going to estimate to the thousands again. The 4 tells my number here it can stay at the 1. 7, 8 tells it to go up. So that means this is going to become 18,000. Okay, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 1 is 3. 39,000. Is 39,000 and 39,270 close to each other? Yes. So my answer is reasonable. Okay. Now number seven. Find the sum of three numbers. Show your work. So now we're going to add these three together. When I am adding more than one number, I always like to start with a number that's the biggest or the number that has the most digits. So. I always put that one on top because then it helps me line up my other numbers. Okay. Now I have all three of my numbers lined up. 8 plus 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12. So my 2 goes down here and I regroup a 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My 5 goes down here, and I regroup a 1. 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 is 10. Regroup a 1. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And since it's the last one, we stop right there. So my answer is 120,852. Then our last problem down here at the bottom, number 8. What is the sum of 50,603 and 46,925? So I'm going to put those numbers on top of each other. Make sure I space them just a little. Notice how I space I can almost fit a finger, maybe a pinky finger between these. That way I can keep them lined up. 46,925. Now I'm going to add these together. 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 6, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Regroup my 1. 1 plus 0 plus 6 is 7. 5 plus 4 is 9. So 97,528. So then I just have to come over here and it's B. That is it for session 2. On session 3, actually, I'm sorry, this, that is it for session 3. This page right here is your session three practice. It would be a great idea for you to complete these problems right here.
um, and have your parent check over them before you move on to session four because these pages are going to help make sure that you're doing things correctly. Have a great day.